I've seen multi in my uh, 12 years on on the street and working uh, in law enforcement. I've seen multiple uh, accidents involving fatalities with teenagers and kids for uh, lack of uh, wearing seat belts. Um, I've seen uh, horrified parents coming to the scenes and learning uh, the worst has happened to their child because of a uh, lack of um, wearing seat belts. But in high school, I lost a very dear friend um, because he didn't wear a seat belt. And um, it was proven at the time, uh, seatbelts weren't mandatory, um, but the awareness was just coming up and it was being spoken about and New York State at the time was really um, pushing for seatbelt safety. Um, not necessarily in those words, but pushing the seatbelt initiative. And unfortunately, my dear friend Claudio was not um, in tune with that and was in a horrible car accident um, that cost him his life. And a friend of ours, praise God, who's still alive, um, came out of that with a limp that he still has today. So I, I am very passionate about seatbelt safety because I lost a friend that way and I still have a friend today because of it. So it matters. This week uh, we put together a campaign for the five high schools in Hernando County. It's called Battle of the Belts and uh, it's a campaign that's been done by many other uh, school districts throughout the state of Florida. Our sheriff re recently went to a, a big sheriff's conference and was uh, told about this campaign, the seatbelt campaign, to help uh, the, the students at the high schools to understand what seatbelts, the awareness of seatbelts and try to increase the usage. The events that they have going on this week is obviously we had the uh, Grim Reaper coming in to uh, kind of impact the uh, kids of the high schools uh, to um, come in and uh, select a few individuals um, to put on the black t-shirts to say that they were killed in a traffic accident to kind of get an impact on the student body of the school to show that this is what could possibly happen and we don't want to happen. We also have the uh, Florida Highway Patrol has the rollover uh, simulator. Uh, the roller crash simulator has dummies inside, some are built and some are not built. Uh, the, as the simulator operates, uh, those dummies, some of them are ejected out of the car. It's a very good visual, visual reference of why it's important to have that seat buckled at all times because at a moment's notice, you could lose control of your car, be involved in a crash, the vehicle overturns, and as a result, people are thrown out of the car, thrown around inside the car, and injured or killed as a result. I think it is critical. I think. Um, I think anybody that thinks it's a joke or doesn't take a moment to really recognize that this simple act, getting in a car, can truly save your life.